Good afternoon. We heard a lot about the mechanics of disability from once somebody is in the process of seeking it. I want to open the door briefly. I know we're short on time for this segment, but that human journey, and, and those of you who are clinicians, who are the treaters, who are the supporters, imagine that my first PowerPoint slide was just a big red square. And you pick how deep of a color you want that red to be, but that's all you see. And behind that red square, you're taller than the rest of us. <laughs> Thank you. And behind that red square is a whole bunch of information. So that that potential disability patient, client, presents to you. And what do you think the first thing out of their mouth is to you as a supporter in that red square? What do you think they're saying to you? Hi. I am so-and-so, and I'm in pain. And you ask them, well, tell me more about your life. And what do you think they tell you? Well, it's miserable. I hurt. Can't do anything. You go, well, how's home life? It sucks. How's work? I can't. What'd you eat for breakfast? Pain flakes. You know, they're, they're not engaged with any other element than that red square. And as clinicians, if we're not crafty enough, we'll just say, hey, this person hurts a lot. Oh my gosh, we've got to treat this pain. And is pain a diagnosis? Is it really treatable? Yeah, it is not. It is hard to treat just pain. We need to find the functional reason for pain. So behind that red square is a mystery. But we can't get that red square to clear its it's uh, to become a little bit more see-through. Imagine that I push the button on the power slide and from the middle we get this little blink of whiteness and it starts coming out and it starts to read a word. And that word that we hope to guide patients into is acceptance. That profound step from the suffering into acceptance. Wow, what a huge therapeutic step. To sit across the person who accepts where they are on that spectrum of health, with broken bones, with permanent conditions, is much different than sitting across the person with a high level of anxiety, with a view of life of complete misery. No therapeutic effect intervention is effective if all we see is red especially if that's all they see. So our goal as treaters, I offer to you, and it's either validating what you already do or suggesting that we ought to break through this, is to begin to look past the red into the beautiful person they are and the capabilities. But how do we know what the capabilities are? We have to measure them. We have to know the quality of their life. Indeed, those questions that we had just heard, how long can you stand? How hard can you grip? How does it affect you? Can you walk upstairs? How long can you hold a thought? We need to begin to quantify what that red square is. And in doing so, we create enough of a picture for us as treaters so that we could begin to make the appropriate referrals so that we could begin to treat most effectively. And hopefully that, again, is validation. But that information does support that person because disability is, in its definition, something that in the foreseeable future will still be there. It's not going away next year and it's not going away the year after that. And it's tough in our minds to be fixers of people. We want to help, we want to, to do an intake and say, I know that problem, I could help you and we'll be back to normal. Well, in the disability world, that doesn't exist. We don't have that ability at times. So I offer in this brief presentation that we look to be treaters for the people that we serve to help them gain that level of acceptance so that that is that stepping stone to be the healthiest that they could be. Thank you.